Hello everyone, Luke Christ. Luke Christ is back and we are at BMW Motorhead Bristol. Let's have a look at some BMWs. It's showtime. <laughs> So we have arrived at BMW Motorrad. So sorry, it's definitely a very wet and cold day. Um, we don't want anything happening to the camera, so we'll have to film indoors. But yeah, this is BMW Motorrad in Bristol. So it's very cool. The motorcycle is what they have here. This is an R1250. Look at those Brembo's. Massive Brembo's up front. Brembo discs as well. Light and alloy. Look at that engine. Absolutely huge. 1250cc. White frame. And a shaft drive. So there's definitely no, no chain to worry about. Um, what's nice to see as well on many of the modern BMWs is that we're starting to see this matte finish on the instrument cluster. And if it's a really sunny day, having a matte finish means that you can see the display better. So that's really cool. And this is in BMW Motorsport colours. So white, blue and red. And it looks lovely. Now what you're seeing here is a touring version. So a massive, massive screens, massive wind protection. Rambos as well, water cooled, 1250 cc's. Panniers, remote sport colors, shaft drive. Quite a powerful motorcycle. Really can go very fast or something like this in, in comfort lovely and then that's the same one but in a different colour and so what's interesting is how BMW have just over the years evolved the Boxster engine so now they are very reliable very reliable nowadays and then we've got another one this one's got the SE though so I wonder what the differences are between that one and a non SE. It looks pretty similar. It's probably going to be down to the electronics available. And then you've got kind of BMW's Sportora. This is the S1000XR. So, what that means is 1000 cc, look at how massive the front radiator is as well. Double radiators, loads of power, loads of torque, you can go very fast on this, and loads of wind protection. I'd say the red's the better looking one out of the two. Um, and then you've got your Super Venture, the GS. This one has an Aqua Probit can, which is pretty cool. Electronic suspension, electronic suspension, front and rear. This one's the triple bike version. And then you've got the uh, motorsport colours. That looks really good. LED as well. Shaft drive. Very, very designed for carrying a lot of miles. I'm okay. How are you? Very well, thank you. Cool. And then R1200. I think that was the pre yeah, that was the previous generation. That's the newer generation. What a beast. Cool. You would definitely slide in the rear wheel on that very easily. <laughs> Panniers are always really useful. And that one I think is 
Oh, that's a rally version. God, I love the gold wheels. They look so pretty. They look really good. Massive engine. What a beast. Sat out too. Uh, then Sport Tora. Ah, the Catty Monteshana. Very rare. Very rare. Before. So that one's actually quite new. Only 1500 bars. V4. The Catty V4. And. And before Fancy PXing something like that. It makes you wonder, doesn't it? Why don't you PX that? Wow. Alright, so this is the S thousand R. So this is a BMW Super Naked. 1000 cc's really fast. This is the newer generation, so it's got the updates, the thousand cc detuned superbike engine and then you've got red coloured shock gold forks down the front oh, it looks very beautiful it's very imposing really striking you just stare red's a really good colour too and that one's got the updated TFT which again anti-mat the um, anti-glare finish on the screen so that's really good but then is the S1000 Double R Superbike. Oh yes, that's special. Just looking at it. Look at that. Rear, uh, rear seat delete as well. Good. 200 miles an hour. Carbon wheels. It's had the upgrade pack on it. Oh. That's just a work of art. We need to make a video. And then you've got um, Super Naked as well, but this is the M version. Two of them. Yeah, I believe it. That was the first generation of the S1000 Dar Super, Super Naked. Gold Brembo's up front. And the reason why BMW did this design it was actually down to reducing as much weight as possible so that's why BMW used that styling there it's actually to reduce weight look at that rear swing arm oh this one might actually have a removable baffle possibly hidden behind the shroud Oh, imagine that. Possibly. I'd imagine that it would be hidden behind this shroud. Hmm. I'm actually taking the bath out of that one. Uh, and then you got your R9T. And this was... Think of this as what a super naked used to be. So, massive Boxster. 1200 cc's. Look at those cylinders. It's huge sticking out like that. It's just very imposing. Uh, LED lights as well. This is the, the new generation. They tagged frame. Interesting. I'm trying to think. Oh, uh, yeah, you can see there's some revisions here compared to the um, uh, Luke Rides R19 racer. So it looks like possibly the injector's been moved. That tube is different as well. It's quite interesting. Snorkel there. Although what's interesting is you can't necessarily see the wiring loom. How interesting is that? So there's been some revisions. 
Very cool. Oh, a super bike. <clears throat> super bike. Um, and then you have the R1200. So these are really good at doing huge amount of distance touring. And then you've got the K1600. So this is a super tourer. Very comfortable. And then you've got a bit of BMW merchandise. Scooter, the uh, Super Cruiser, the R18, very imposing. God, look at those cylinders, absolutely massive. It's quite a thing of engineering, that is. <laughs> look at that. It's interesting when you see the small touches like this. So you have a drive shaft where you can actually see the mechanics taking place, but it's all modern. So modern materials. It's really interesting. You can just see it. And this styling here is because back in the day, that was how you would create an exhaust system. Whoa. Imagine trying to get this Super Tour on the stand. How did BMW do it? You can just sit down, uh, get more merchandise, more more gear. But, uh, yeah, really, really neat. Ah, then S thousand double R super bike. Oh, that one's had some upgrades as well. Look at that. M machines. Foot pegs. Interesting. What a beast. 200 miles an hour at a whim. Just go. We're gone. F900. Previous generation. And that is BMW Motorrad Bristol. Thanks for watching everybody at Blue Pride. It was a really nice just being able to sit down. It's really nice at BMW Motorrad as well. I'll let you uh, sit down, they offer coffee and tea, cappuccino, latte. It's lovely, it's a really nice experience. Yeah, we're gonna get the back on the way. The little rascal has spirit. That's awesome. This is the end of the trail for me. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, kid.